Joachim Napoleon Marat French pronunciation, Owen Napole Maya, born Joachim Murat, Italian, Joachino Napoleon Marat, German, Joachim Napoleon Marat, March 1767 to 13 October 1815 was a Marshal of France and Admiral of France under the reign of Napoleon. He was also the first Prince Marat, Grand Duke of Berg from 1806 to 1808, and King of Naples from 1808 to 1815. Marat received his titles in part by being Napoleon's brother-in-law through marriage to his younger sister, Caroline Bonaparte, as well as personal merit. He was noted as a daring, brave, and charismatic cavalry officer as well as a flamboyant dresser, for which he was known as the Dandy King. <laughs> Early life Joachim Murat was born on 25 March 1767 in La Bastide Fortunière, renamed La Bastide Marat after its renowned citizen, in Guyenne present-day Lot Department of France to Pierre Marat Jordi, d. 27 July 1799, an affluent farmer and an innkeeper, and his wife Jean Lubières La Bastide Fortunière, b. 1722 La Bastide Fortunière, d. The 11th of March 1806, daughter of Pierre Lubières and of his wife Jean Vielescazes. Pierre Marat Jordi was the son of Guillaume Marat 1692 to 1754 and his wife Marguerite Herbe d. 1755, paternal grandson of Pierre Marat, born in 1634, and wife Catherine Bedores, who died in 1697, and maternal grandson of Bertrand Herbe and wife Anne Roquez. Joachim Marat's parents intended that he pursue a career in the church, and he was taught by the parish priest, after which he won a place at the College of San Michel at Cahors when he was ten years old. He then entered seminary of the Lazarists at Toulouse, but when a regiment of cavalry passed through the city in 1787, he ran away from seminary and enlisted on 23 February 1787 in the Chasseur des Ardennes, which the following year became known as the Chasseur de Champagne, also known as the Twelfth Chasseur. In 1789, an affair forced him to resign, and he returned to his family, becoming a clerk to a haberdasher at saint Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> French Revolutionary Wars By 1790, he had joined the National Guard, and when the Fête of the Nation was organized on 14 July 1790, the canton of Montaucon sent Marat as its representative. Then he became reinstated into his old regiment. Part of the 12th Chasseur had been sent to Montmédy to protect the royal family on its flight to Varennes, meaning regiment had to defend its honour and loyalty to the Republic. Marat and the regiment's adjutant made a speech to the assembly at Toul to that effect. In 1792, he joined the Constitutional Guard, but left it that same year. His departure was attributed to various causes, including his constant quarreling and dueling. Although he claimed he left to avoid punishment for being absent without leave, an ardent Republican, Marat wrote to his brother in 1791 stating he was preoccupied with revolutionary affairs and would sooner die than cease to be a patriot. Upon his departure from the Constitutional Guard, he reported to the Committee of Surveillance of the Constitutional Assembly that the Guard was guilty of treason and that his lieutenant colonel, a man named Discours, had encouraged him to serve in the émigré army of Louis Joseph, Prince of Condé, then stationed in Koblenz. This garnered for him the support of the Republicans, for he rejoined his former regiment and was promoted to corporal in April of that year, and to sergeant in May. By 19 November 1792, he was 25 years old and elated at his latest promotion. As a Sous lieutenant, he thought, his family must recognize that he had no great tendency for the priesthood, and he was hoping to prove that he had not been wrong in wishing to be a soldier. One of the ministers had accused him of being an aristocrat, confusing him with the noble family of Marat d'Auvergne, an accusation that continued to haunt him for the next several years. Topic. 13 Vendemiaire In the autumn of 1795, three years after King Louis XVI of France was deposed, royalist and counter-revolutionaries organized an armed uprising. On 3 October, General Napoleon Bonaparte, who was stationed in Paris, was named commander of the French National Convention's defending forces. This constitutional convention, after a long period of emergency rule, was striving to establish a more stable and permanent government in the uncertain period after the Reign of Terror. 
Bonaparte tasked Marat with the gathering of artillery from a suburb outside the control of the government's forces. Marat managed to take the cannons of the Camp des Sablins and transport them to the centre of Paris while avoiding the rioters. The use of these cannons, the famous whiff of grapeshot, on 5 October allowed Bonaparte to save the members of the National Convention. For this success, Joachim Murat was made chef de brigade colonel and thereafter remained one of Napoleon's best officers. Italian and Egyptian campaigns In 1796, with the situation in the capital and government apparently stabilized and the war going poorly see also, French Revolutionary Wars, Napoleon lobbied to join the armies attempting to secure the revolution against the invading monarchist forces. Marat then went with Bonaparte to northern Italy, initially as his aide-de-camp, and was later named commander of the cavalry during the many campaigns against the Austrians and their allies. These forces were waging war on France and seeking to restore a monarchy in revolutionary France. His valor and his daring cavalry charges later earned him the rank of general in these important campaigns, the battles of which became famous as Bonaparte constantly used speed of maneuver to fend off and eventually defeat individually superior opposing armies closing in on the French forces from several directions. Thus, Marat's skills in no small part helped establish Bonaparte's legendary fame and enhance his popularity with the French people. Marat commanded the cavalry of the French-Egyptian expedition of 1798, again under Bonaparte. In the 1799, some remaining staff officers, including Marat, and Bonaparte returned to France, eluding various British fleets in five frigates. A short while later, Marat played an important, even pivotal, role in Bonaparte's coup within a coup of 18 Brumaire the 9th of November 1799, when Napoleon first assumed national power. Along with two others including director Abbé Sillas, Napoleon Bonaparte set aside the five-man directory government, establishing the three-man French consulate government. Marat married Caroline Bonaparte in a civil ceremony on 20 January 1800 at Mortefontaine and religiously on 4 January 1802 in Paris, thus becoming a son-in-law of Letizia Ramolino as well as brother-in-law to Joseph Bonaparte, Napoleon I of France, Lucien Bonaparte, Elisa Bonaparte, Louis Bonaparte, Pauline Bonaparte and Jérôme Bonaparte. Napoleonic Wars Napoleon made Marat a Marshal of France on 18 May 1804, and also granted him the title of First Horseman of Europe. He was created Prince of the Empire in 1805, appointed Grand Duke of Berg and Cleves on 15 March 1806 and held this title until 1 August 1808, when he was named King of Naples. He was in charge of the French army in Madrid when the popular 2 of May uprising that started the Peninsular War broke out. Marat was equally useful in Russian campaign of 1812 and during the German campaign of 1813 in the Battle of Leipzig. However, after France's defeat at Leipzig, Marat reached an agreement with the Austrian Empire in order to save his own throne. During the Hundred Days, he realized that the European powers, meeting as the Congress of Vienna, had the intention to remove him and return the kingdoms of Naples to their pre-Napoleonic rulers. Marat deserted his new allies before the War of the Seventh Coalition and, after issuing a proclamation to the Italian patriots in Rimini, moved north to fight against the Austrians in the Neapolitan War to strengthen his rule in Italy by military means. He was defeated by Frederick Bianchi, a general of Francis I of Austria, in the Battle of Tolentino 2 -3 May 1815. <laughs> Death Marat fled to Corsica after Napoleon's fall. Joined by around a thousand followers, he hoped to regain control of Naples by fomenting an insurrection in Calabria. Arriving at the port of Pizzo, Marat attempted to rally support in the town square, but his plan turned awry. The crowd was hostile and he was attacked by an old woman blaming him for the loss of her son. Calabria had been badly hit by Marat's repression of local piracy and brigandage during his reign. Soon he was captured by forces of King Ferdinand IV of Naples. He was imprisoned in the Castello di Pizzo, a small castle in the harbour of Pizzo, from where he wrote several letters, especially to his family. He was tried for treason and sentenced to death by firing squad. 
On 13 October, King Ferdinand, under the advice of the British ambassador, issued a decree by which, "...the condemned shall be granted only half an hour to receive the aid of religion." When the fatal moment arrived, Marat walked with a firm step to the place of execution, as calm, as unmoved, as if he had been going to an ordinary review. He would not accept a chair, nor suffer his eyes to be bound. Before his death, he said, I have braved death too often to fear it. He stood upright, proudly and undauntedly, with his countenance towards the soldiers, and when all was ready, he kissed a cameo on which the head of his wife was engraved, and gave the word, Thus, Soldats. Fet votre devoir. Droit au cur mais épargnez le visage. Fu. Soldiers. Do your duty. Straight to the heart but spare the face. Fire. Portraits of Joachim Murat. Topic. Coats of arms Topic. Titles and styles The 25th of March 1767 to the 1st of February 1805, Mr. Joachim Murat The 1st of February 1805 to the 15th of March 1806, His Imperial Highness Joachim Napoleon, French Prince the 15th of March 1806 to the 12th of July 1806, Duke of Berg. The 12th of July 1806 to the 1st of August 1808, Grand Duke of Berg and Cleves. The 1st of August 1808 to the 19th of May 1815, His Majesty, by the grace of God and the Constitution of the State, King of Naples. Topic: <laughs> Children. Marat and Caroline had four children. Achille Charles Louis Napoleon Marat, hereditary Prince of Berg, Prince of Naples, second Prince Marat, Paris, the 21st of January 1801, Jefferson County, Florida, the 15th of April 1847, M. Tallahassee, Florida, the 12th of July 1826, Catherine Dangerfield Willis, near Fredericksburg, Virginia, the 17th of August 1803, Tallahassee, Florida, the 7th of August 1867, daughter of Colonel Bird C. Willis, the 29th of August 1781 to 1846, and wife Mary Lewis, and great grandniece of George Washington, without issue. Princess Marie Letizia Josephine Annonciade Marat, Paris, the 26th of April 1802, Bologna, the 12th of March 1859, M. Venice, the 27th of October 1823, Guido Taddeo Pepoli, Marchese Pepoli, Conte di Castiglione, Bologna, the 7th of September 1789, Bologna, the 2nd of March 1852, and had issue. Lucien Charles Joseph Napoleon Marat, second sovereign prince of Pontecorvo, third prince Marat, Milan, the 16th of May 1803, Paris, the 10th of April 1878, M. Bordentown, New Jersey, the 18th of August 1831, Caroline Georgina Fraser, Charleston, South Carolina, the 13th of April 1810, Paris, the 10th of February 1879, daughter of Thomas Fraser and wife Anne Lawton, and had issue. He was an associate of his first cousin Napoleon III of France, ancestor of René Auberginois, actor. Princess Louise Julie Caroline Marat, Paris, the 21st of March 1805, Ravenna, the 1st of December 1889, M. Trieste, the 25th of October 1825, Giulio Conte Rasponi, Ravenna, the 19th of February 1787, Florence, the 19th of July 1876, and had issue. Topic: Relatives. He had a brother named Pierre Marat, La Bastide Fortunier, the 27th of November 1748, La Bastide Fortunier, the 8th of October 1792, who married at La Bastide Fortunier on the 26th of February 1783, Louise Diastorg, La Bastide Fortunier, the 23rd of October 1762 to the 31st of May 1832, daughter of Americ Diastorg, born in 1721, and wife Maria Lanyu, paternal granddaughter of Antoine Diastorg. Storg, born the 18th of November 1676, and wife Marie de Mary, the 4th of May 1686 to the 7th of October 1727, and maternal granddaughter of Jean Lanyu and wife Louise de Valone. 
His other brother named André Marat was created first Count Marat in 1810. Pierre and Louise were the parents of Marie-Louise, Pierre Adrien D. Marie Radigan D. Thomas Joachim and Marie Antoinette Marat, whom Emperor Napoleon I arranged to marry Charles, Prince of Hohenzollern Sigmaringen, Karl III and Marie were the parents of Charles Anthony, Prince of Hohenzollern from whom descended Stephanie of Hohenzollern Sigmaringen Queen of Portugal, her brother Carol I of Romania and Carol I nephew Albert I of Belgium. Another descendant of note is his great-great-great-grandson, the American actor René Aubergenois. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>